Hey everyone, welcome back to my course Lightning Web Component. This is Amit and in this lecture we are going to learn about Lightning Web Component, why Salesforce has introduced and how it is different with Aura Components. Let's quickly start with introduction. So Aura Component is nothing, it is a new methodology to develop the Lightning Component which are nothing, those are built on top of custom HTML uh, which are using modern JavaScript and vanilla HTML5 concept. So unlike Aura Component, it is not a framework, it is a web standards where we are using all the web standards, all web technologies to develop our Lightning Component. Lightning Component is also using or, uh, more web standards than the Aura framework. So if you have developed Aura framework, you might have, uh, you might be familiar with the Aura framework where uh, we have to follow the terminology provided by the R framework but here in lightning web component what we have is we have got the vanilla components on top of which lightning web component is working like uh, we can use html5 concept that means we can have our own templates we can create our custom templates we can use imports that import means we can use the third party library just by writing a simple stored, uh, import statement we have got shadow domes and then we have also got ES ECMAScript 6 and later on whatever the ECMAScripts are going to be released. LWC is also giving the better performance than the Aura component. Why it is giving the better performance? Again as it is a lightweight and it is a lightweight because these are completely developed on the web standards that are provided by W3C and these are not using any kind of frameworks. To understand understand it in a more better way let's quickly see what we have in 2014 back 2014 stack so as you can see here in 2014 we were using data services we can using uh, lightning uh, we were using ui components for developing the custom ui the look and feel we also had some custom models we also need to use the templates from the aura framework itself for the rendering optimization, we have to develop our own kind of frameworks so that we can optimize the rendering of any UI in order to increase the performance. And apart from this, if we wanted to extend some other framework with the Lightning components or with the Aura components like Node.js, AngularJS, Express.js or any third party script. For that, what we need to do is language extensions. How we are going to use with the language extension, like using some kind of uh, Lightning Canvas application or using with the help of some kind of static resources as well. So these were the frameworks that we were using in 2014, in the early stage whenever Salesforce introduced our component to us. And in the name of ECMA, in the name of web components, what we were using is we were using ECMAScript 5 or below that than scripts. We were using some kind of events, but those events were only limited to the browser events. When we say that browser events, that means on click, on double click, but we were not able to use our standard components, uh, standard events to communicate between the components. If we have to communicate, we would need to develop our custom events developed by the aura components and we have to make sure that we are following that practice so these were the web components very less web components that we are using now what was the problem with this 2014 stack okay the problem was we were uh, developing our own rendering engine so suppose that we are developing a big enterprise application in that case we must need to take care about the ui component how the ui look like and uh, what is the response or what is the performance of the our application whatever we are developing so we must need to take care about the rendering engine and we must need to take care about the performance of our application it was also not supporting the custom elements that means we need to restrict into the elements provided by the aura itself we don't have our own custom elements uh, custom events sorry we don't have our standard events so we must uh, rely on the events provided by the aura component itself it was very hard to find the workforce when we say that workforce that means uh, it was a sometimes it was a complete different framework that everyone needs to learn in order to work into a project so if we have any project first what we need to do is we need to train our workforce in order to work them into the aura components that was very hard to find the workforce and if we have multiple applications which are developed on the multiple frameworks it was very hard to 
communicate with them that means they those were not interoperable that were not communicating with each other in a very easy way now let's quickly discuss about after we have discussed the problem we discuss what we had in 2014 now let's discuss about the stack that we have in 2019 2019 so in the 2019 what we have got is we have got uh, more web standards and less framework so when we say that more web standards that means we have got uh, easy performance it is a very lightweight it is also built on top of uh, html standards uh, it is also supported the native browsers that was also one of the problem in 2019 web stack and whenever we are developing the large scale enterprise application that is also very optimized and uh, for the ui purpose we have also multiple elements the custom elements that we can create so if you can see here in 2019 stack what we have got is we have got data services data services are nothing these are the services that uh, we are using to get the data from our salesforce database and display that data to the ui component or we wanted to have some data into we wanted to send send some data to third party system with the help of some button click or some other events and then we have ui components so when we say that ui component in 2019 web stack we have only lightning base component we are not using UI components or we are not using force component uh, unlike the 2014 web stack. So in this 2014 web stack what we have we have uh, multiple UI components like at very initial we have got UI components and after that we have got force component and then we got lightning web component. But in 2019 what we have is we have got UI component which are only uh, supported by Light, which are only supporting lightning base component that means lightning input lightning button lightning record form lightning edit form everything is uh, dependent on the lightning web, lightning web components ui components now we have got web components on the web components what we have is as we already discussed we have got the capabilities of web component html5 vanilla components then we have our own templates so we can create our own templates we have got the benefit of shadow dome which was also one of the problem inside uh, our 2014 web stack we have got ecmascript 6 and onwards whatever the ecmascripts are going to be released we can create our own modules we can export our own modules we can import the third party modules in order to work our application in a very easy way and in order to develop a large scale applications we also have got the capability of standard events that means we no need to worry about the events uh, anymore we don't need to create any events unlike aura components we have got the standard events provided by the javascript itself on the html component itself and we can use those we no need to create our own custom events and for the rendering purpose it is also going to take in care by w3c and that is also very optimized and full giving the better performance than aura components now we discuss about the problem what solution we have got is that means now we have got a common component model when we say that common component model that means uh, we have got a uh, less frameworks that are only going to be used whenever we wanted to have some data services we wanted to get some ui components and then we have got common programming model as well for the same we can very easily develop the enterprise applications now it is very easy to find the work for workforce why we say that very easy because it is completely built on top of or we can say that it is completely dependent upon the web components and in two days everyone is aware about what html is what is javascript and all that is we say that easy to find the work is workforce and even if you have worked with the aura components you are already familiar with the javascript and all that need that is needed for this uh, lightning web component and now if you have different different frameworks like node.js react.js angular.js or some other scripting framework these are very easy these can very easily enter uh, you can say that exchange information or they, these are very easily interoperable between them we can also create our own custom elements and we also discuss the imports the power of imports we talked about if you wanted to have some custom domain um, custom scripts we wanted to have some custom logic inside our uh, javascript class we can easily import our uh, system or we, sorry we can import our modules inside our lightning web components so these were two things about 
14 stack and 19 stacks now let's quickly talk about the difference between these two we have seen those in a separate windows now let's see in a different window whether we are putting those into a single window if you can see here and if you notice here it is clearly identifiable that the 2014 web stack is using more and more web framework which is leading somehow directly or indirectly in the, uh, the performance of our application which will be degrade, uh, degraded day by day as our application is getting increased if you are moving towards the large large enterprise scale application now if we talk about 2019 web stacks these are using very less frameworks and we have got many and many web standard frameworks web frameworks which are going to increase which are also going to make our application very lightweight and uh, to maintain these applications is also becoming very easy from 2019 stack now onwards so this was a very typical difference between 14 and 19 stacks now let's quickly talk about how our lwc stacks look like because we talked about uh, like web comp uh, 2014 stack we talked about 2019 stack now this is how our LWC stack is going to look like. So if you see, this is nothing. This is very similar to the 2019 web stack where we have got uh, web frame, uh, framework on the top. We have got uh, web components on the bottom. In the frameworks, we are using Lightning Data Services. Why we are using Lightning Data Services? Just to get the information from the Salesforce. And in most of the cases we no need to write the fs classes even if you wanted to have the pick list values we have the ability with the help of lightning data services if you wanted to have the information about a particular object we also have the ability to get those information using the lightning data services you wanted to describe the particular object that ability is also there that means with the help of web components and a few framework that is uh, that Salesforce had combined together to make that lightning web component work more easier and more faster and that is also working on all the native browsers all these modern browsers which are available to us and then we have got lightning web component uh, these are the base lightning web base components that we already discussed like uh, we have got uh, some lightning inputs we have got some lightning buttons we wanted to display some layouts as well we have got lightning layouts and all those things and uh, for the security parameters it is also going to take in care about uh, the securities uh, as we all know that lightning data service is already inbuilt on top of those uh, whatever the salesforce has applied the security for an object or a field it is going to take care on that and for the web components parts again we have got all those things the web components again we already discussed templates we have got custom templates modules standard elements and we can also use the import and exports based on our requirement if you wanted to export our complete module we can export some other developer can import and use the functionality that we have developed or if some other developer had uh, developed some kind of functionality and the developer has exported we can import inside our application and use those very easily in order to extend the application uh, functionality and we can also say that in order to make the application very easily uh, and uh, that is also very easy to develop the application now let's quickly talk about what is difference between aura and lwc because until unless we are talking about only lwc we talked about what were the benefits of our lwc now let's talk about what were the problem in aura and what is the benefit of salesforce introducing the lightning web component so on the left we have aura components on the right we have lightning web component so both the components are using the same web uh, same frameworks so if you see here security lightning web data services and base lightning web components so these are the common frameworks that both the services are using either aura or lightning web components in the aura components we have more frameworks like uh, we have to develop the custom component model which is uh, again the aura is again itself a framework we have got our custom templates that we, means we cannot create the templates we have to follow the aura frameworks we have uh, custom components as well the aura components that we are used uh, we are uh, developing and we are using in our projects 
for the rendering again we have to develop the rendering for the rendering optimization whenever we are developing a large scale application we have got custom events with the help of aura and custom modules so these are all the custom things that we have but if you talk about lightning web components first of all these are the frameworks that we have got and again most of the things are already available by web standards to us suppose if you talk about web components we have got the templates as well which are which are provided by the web standards we have got the custom elements the custom elements when we talk about these are the elements that uh, we can create by our own and we can use those elements across all the projects we have got the benefit of shadow dome whenever we wanted to have the different look and feel for our uh, interrelated component or uh, in the hierarchical component we can use the we can leverage this shadow dome then we can also create our own custom modules in case of aura that was the problem we will not able to create the modules we have to use the leverage the functionality of the aura modules but in case of lwc we have got the custom modules we can create we can import and export those modules and we have also got the benefit of uh, standard events as well and then for Aura, we have got ECMAScript 5 or less. And then for LWC, we have got ECMAScript 6 or greater. And for both the things, what they are using is events, standard elements and rendering. In the upcoming scripts, or we can say that in the upcoming ECMAScript, we have got more functionalities that are uh, giving us the better performance than the ECMAScript 5 or less. So this is how we can say the basic difference between Aura and LWC. In order to summarize this, what the difference is that in Aura we have got uh, like their own framework, we have got uh, more framework, we were able, we were not able to render, uh, optimize the rendering, we are not able to interchange or uh, interoperable the different frameworks together, we are not able to our own custom elements. But when we say that Lightning Web Component, this is following more web standards instead of uh, more frameworks, and this is this has the ability of uh, creating our own elements, our uh, own modules, importing the different different libraries and it is also very lightweight and giving the better performance. So this is a summarize of, if someone asks what was the problem in Aura and what is the benefit in a Lightning Web Components, you can quickly put these two or three points and uh, that will be enough for, uh, for you or for uh, anyone who, who is asking the question. Now before we wrap up, what are the important points that you might want to take care uh, take from this lecture is aura can use lwc but lwc cannot use we can communicate with between aura and lwc with the help of events aura is not going to replace uh, lwc is not going to replace aura most of the time whenever uh, we are talking about uh, we, among each other or we are talking with someone else the first question that comes in the mind is that is lwc is going to replace aura the answer is no it is not going to replace the aura Whatever the projects which are running in the Aura will keep running until and unless you are migrating them into the LWC. And Aura and LWC can coexist in the same page. Same page means in the same layout. If you have multiple uh, layouts, multi-page layouts, you can put some Aura uh, on either left, right, top or bottom and you can put the LWC on. You can replace anywhere. And to make the communication these we have got uh, different different terminology. You will learn those uh, into the coming lectures as well. So this is it for this lecture. Thank you.